Welcome to the short video tutorial on how to prepare your AutoCAD drawing for the Civil Designer design environment. Our session this today is going to cover the sewer design. I have my AutoCAD drawing up and running at the moment. This is my sewer design layout. I've switched some layers off. I just want to show you what the various layers are. So I'm going to go to my layer manager. You see I have a number of layers that I've already created and populated. I'm going to show you what's on the sewer layer. So let me click that, switch it on for you. And you'll see here that I have my sewer pipes all drawn in. Please take note that a sewer pipe must be drawn from manhole to manhole as a single line entity, not a polyline and not three dimensional anyway. So let's have a look what do I mean. If I click on this line over here, you'll see it runs from this top point where it intersects with this line right through to here. So a civil designer is going to see this as one single line. Similarly for this one, you'll see it's a single line and it connects where a manual would be. So you would draw in your lines between manuals. But for the civil designer environment, we don't actually show the manuals. It extracts the position of the manuals based on the intersection point of the line. So it would place a manual there and at the end points of each line. So this is my sewers. Please take note that each sewer pipe is on the in the layer sewer. The next thing I'm going to switch on for you is the terminal manhole or the connection into which the whole sewer will drain. So let me go ahead and switch that on. So this circle denotes the position where my sewer system will drain into. It's the end manhole. Now Civil Designer designs from this point back up. If you had two outfalls, these are actually outfalls, if you had two, you would draw in a second one and it would then deal with that separate subsystem of your sewer design. The balance of the layers are my earthen, earth numbers and all the other things. So here you can see my earth connections, they're all on their own drawing, sorry, all on their own layer. The earthen, the earth boundaries are all on the layer and the earth numbers are all on their own layer. Notice that I don't have anything else in this drawing. This is a design drawing. It's not my final drawing. I'm keeping this drawing as small as possible so that I import the least information into the civil designer as possible. Once you've set up your drawing correctly, make sure that you save it and then you can close it and be ready for importing your drawing into the civil design environment. And that's what I'm going to show you next. 